Now, with, with respect to the Adenta situation, mm. I actually use that road every day. Okay. And each morning, and each morning when I'm going to work, and if, each evening when I'm returning from work, I keep asking myself one question. Who oversaw the construction of this road? I've always, every day, I wonder because I, I see firsthand the way they risk the police, put themselves into trying to control traffic. And I would give credit to the police when it comes to that. They do their best, and they put their own lives at risk. I see the people trying to earn their daily bread, trying to cross over to do business, and they're struggling with cars. And all the time, I ask myself, so who oversaw this? Mm. Who opened up this uncompleted road for use every day? Now, when that last week when uh, the accident happened and they blocked the road, I was one of those blocked. So I was one of those stuck mm. in the traffic. And I did feel trapped. Of course, we all know the way crowd yeah. behaves. So you are afraid. You know the people could decide to attack you. And you have, no, you have no place to run to. But as I sat there, afraid for my life, knowing that if the people decide to misbehave, I could be a victim and I could be a statistic, I understood very well the people's anger. Mm. Because for how long? For how long could they keep asking? This is, and, and again, actually, I am disappointed that this is how the discussion, the nature of the discussion on this issue has taken. Because I think the, 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 is, the solution is, is simple. Just fix the footbridges. There are other issues to talk about, but the beginning point is just fix the, mm. the footbridges. Mm. I think it's enough. We don't want to know, we, we don't want to start the whole discussion that we've been having for over 11 years about who has done what and who hasn't done what and what needs to be done and what doesn't need to be done. The only thing that needs to be done as a starting point is fix the bridges. So just fix them. As f for me, as a person who uses <coughs> that road every day, fix them. Because we can't continue, I think, for me, I felt ashamed when I sat there in the traffic feeling trap. I was ashamed, once, uh, first of all, that we have sat by for years. And this thing has been building up. The people have been complaining. And this, I wouldn't call what happened a demonstration mm. because it wasn't planned. It was a reflex action yeah. because they have had to watch people lose their lives over and over and over again. Pe anybody would get and traumatized. In this situation, the girl who was knocked down, mm -hmm. While she was lying there lifeless and the blood was on the street, they say that she was there for almost an hour. Yeah. Wow. Yes, she was yeah. there for almost an hour and there were other vehicles trying to yeah. come in. And the taxi that tried to attempt to run away, they pursued the taxi driver. I think that is what began, you know, the mobilization against what was going on yes. so they decided that look she's she's there in the middle of the road and you guys are driving uh past okay it's it's not fair so they put you know the road blocks there and began to burn and they say no one should pass I actually i didn't blame mm. them i okay. like i said i understood them if they had hurt me that mm. day i i would have understood them okay. and i still wouldn't have blamed them if they had hurt me that day it was not their fault it was the fault of leadership because it is leadership that has sat by, allowed things to deteriorate, and then pushed the people to the wall, and they just reacted. So I would have just been a victim of failed leadership. It would, I wouldn't have been a victim of unreasonable people. The people were not being unreasonable. Mm. I think it is very human that if you have witnessed something over and over again, you get traumatized, and it was, it was really a reflex action. Okay. So for me, this, I, as for this footbridges, like I say, I really don't want any long statements. I don't want any long expressions of condolences and sympathies. If you really care about the, the, the lives, let's show that we care. And the only way we show that we care, fix the bridges. When you fix the bridges, the other issues will come up. The issue of education. I always have a problem with, with, with us that we sit and complain about how ignorant our people are. I can understand if private persons do that. But if you are in the position of leadership, you don't have the luxury to complain about the ignorance of your people. If you identify that your people are ignorant, it's a problem. And your job is to find a solution. So if your people are ignorant, you know what the solution is. It's to educate them, mm. enlighten them. <laughs> so I, I, I get concerned that each year, <coughs> we keep recycling the same things. And I actually have lost interest in some I'm of these discussions any an longer. I'm being told that there was nothing wrong in opening the road to traffic at the point it was. Okay. This is what the person says. He's an expert and is within the road. Um, 
the road industry. Okay. He says the accidents are not because they because of the absence of the footbridges. Okay. They are the function of officers failing to make the road safe despite the absence of the footbridges. The recommendations that have been made to them, mm -hmm. including recommendations made by the, uh, the board responsible for roads, um, make it clear that there were steps that they could take, including providing traffic lights in the sections that were needed, clear markings. Okay. And there are other suggestions that have been made by Occupy Ghana and also uh, the Joy Super Morning Show. They are all when, part of when it. When you use that road, mm -hmm. do you share the view that in the absence of the footbridges, something could have been done? First of all, I always say that I have a problem when there's a simple solution to a problem. And then we like to theorize and look at other possibilities and um, eventualities. I use that road every day. One, we know our resource level of our police. And I've always said it's unfair to put unfair demands on other people. I think we know the capacity of our police. Do we have, if you look at the stretch of that road, do we have enough policemen to do all of that, they, to be there? And apart from that, I've told that the ones there do their best, but I see them at the, the peril of their own lives because they too could get knocked down. The first and foremost thing is what but was... There's, there's, there's a long stretch that yes. you don't find the police. Yes. And there are other entrances and exits that you don't find the police. Completely nobody is there. For me, I have driven through the place mm -hmm. and I have had times to ask myself, you know, look at children who want to cross. And even you, the driver, you are afraid stopping. Yeah. Because you are yeah. not sure the one behind you, yeah. how they will react. Yeah. I have stopped there a couple of times though. Yeah. Yes, but so that is, that is where I come back to my issue that let's look for simple solutions. Now, what is the staff capacity of our policemen that we, do we have enough of them to go along the stretch? Okay. I doubt it. Mm -hmm. I doubt that we have the numbers that would be required to do what we are all asking them to do. But if we fix the footbridges, would it solve a problem? Definitely. So fixing the footbridges is part of it. And my problem is, with the, it's, this, I don't think this is even for a long term. Mm. Isn't fixing the footbridges part of the construction of the road? It's part of the So design. let us do it. What has to be done? Yeah. That should have been done day one. It has not been done. So let's not find excuses for what has to be done that has not been done. Okay. Do it. When we do the footbridges, of course, that doesn't solve the entire problem. I think it's just a beginning. And it's an important step. Okay. So let's fix the footbridges. Then let the other, the other issues also follow. If we are able to do all of them simultaneously, perfect. But I have a problem when we have a problem lying down, and then we are sitting down like what we usually do. We talk and talk and talk about the problem. The last time I was reading, just outside, but the last time I was reading somewhere and then <coughs> I saw revamp the Palugu tomato factory. I have heard that statement since the Pope was an altar boy. <laughs> <laughs> and so when I heard it again, I, I just smiled. So if all those times I have been hearing that we need to revamp it, why is it not revamped? Why are we still using that phrase, revamp it, rather than talking about how we have revamped it and what, what solutions it has brought? Okay. So I think we, as a people, we have to reach that point that we have to admit to ourselves that just talking and talking and talking and not doing what needs to be done mm. is a problem. It's well, actually the well, problem. Well, after, after Thursday, mm -hmm. uh, a joint